stages of Russia's brutal war in Ukraine play out, the U.S. continues isolating Moscow, cutting it off from nearly all trade. But for decades, America was in the business of buying nuclear warheads from Russia, processing them into highly radioactive material, and shipping it here to America. Well, a Local 12 investigation has uncovered all that Russian radioactive material was shipped directly to a plant right here in Southern Ohio. Tonight, Chief Investigative Reporter Dwayne Pullman dismantles this once hidden program and discovers new concerns that Russian radioactivity could be connected to contamination and cancer here at home. The Portsmouth Gaseous Diffusion Plant, or PORTS, was a massive fixture on America's front lines. In the production of uranium-235 for military use... For nearly five decades, PORTS processed uranium, critical to making America's nuclear bombs and fueling its nuclear navy. Now closed and partially dismantled, PORTS is ground zero for claims of radioactive contamination. I mean, the risk is here. In nearby communities, now riddled with rare cancers. We've got, you know, alarming cancer rates. That are killing children. That was my best friend, you know, and my son. The U.S. Department of Energy, or DOE, which oversees ports, insists radiation around the plant is at safe levels. But some radioactive particles in the air here are not uranium that you'd expect to find but something much more deadly. The chemical and radiological toxicity associated with plutonium is many, many times worse than uranium. In this 2019 report, Dr. Michael Ketterer at Northern Arizona University announced he found plutonium isotopes in sediment and dust around the plant. And in 2017 and 2018, this DOE air monitor three and a half miles from ports picked up neptunium-237 and americium-241, both byproducts of plutonium. But ports processed uranium. So where did those plutonium and plutonium-related particles come from? After nearly two years of digging through these government documents, I uncovered a surprising but likely source, Russia. Russian-based fallout is in the community. Jeff Walburn was a top-level anti-terrorism responder and security inspector at ports for three decades. It was the worst of the worst. To understand how Russian radioactive material ended up here, we have to rewind the clock. Back to November 9, 1989. That's when the Berlin Wall fell and the Soviet Union collapsed. As the world celebrated the end of the Cold War, a huge stockpile of Soviet nuclear warheads now threatened to be sold on the black market to dictators around the world. So, the U.S. developed a plan. Congress... I got into a deal to bring Russian warheads. That deal was a program called Swords to Plowshares, or Megatons to Megawatts. Under it, the U.S. bought thousands of Soviet warheads and converted them to enriched uranium to be processed into fuel for America's reactors. In 1994, the Russian radioactive material began arriving in America. And as this government map clearly shows, all of it was shipped to one destination for processing, the Portsmouth Gaseous Diffusion Plant here in Ohio. The Russian material was coming in. Contaminated Russian material. Which they knew. They knew. While top-level administrators at DOE and the Nuclear Regulatory Commission, or NRC, knew the details of the program, Dr. Oh, David Minuta, seems, the chief yeah. scientist at Ports from 1992 to 2000, who was supposed to sign off on what was being processed at Ports, says he was never told. You never knew Russian material was coming. Uh, that is correct. As a matter of fact, you just found out. That is correct, sir. How shocked are you by this? I'm actually beyond shocked. I'm appalled. For those in charge of the Swords to Plowshares program, questions about what Russia was sending began right away. 
In this transcript from a 1994 meeting of the NRC, the CEO of America's now privatized nuclear industry admitted, initial testing of the Russian material revealed excess supplies of plutonium and other dangerous elements. Two years later, in 1996, that same CEO indicated those issues had been resolved, telling the NRC everything they have delivered has been well within specification. But according to this 1999 GAO report, concerns about the Russian material ratcheted up. The report noting one third of the shipments from 1995 to 1998 were not subject to transparency measures, meaning the shipments were not thoroughly examined. And the GAO added, there was a deliberate decision by the US government to have the radioactive material rapidly removed from Russia. As this graphic from that report reveals, from 1995 to 1998, 1,487 metric tons of enriched uranium were delivered from Russia to the U.S. That's the equivalent of 2,040 nuclear warheads. And all of it was delivered directly to ports before it shut down in 2001. If you knew this was material from Russia, including plutonium, that was coming into your plant, what would you have done? I would have asked them to stop, immediately stop. That's because Dr. Minuta says ports was not designed to handle plutonium. Yet, as the documents reveal, plutonium was in the Russian material and processed at ports. And it was deliberately kept away from me. Does it all make sense to you now about the contamination in this area? Well, it accounts for a lot of the contamination. Dwayne Pullman, Local 12 News.